Hi again, today we're looking at cohesive devices and I'm going to make sure that you understand how to use these effectively in both general training and academic task one, as well as task two for the IELTS writing test. My name is Lara Ryan. I've been an IELTS examiner. I've been an IELTS teacher at the British Council. I have over a decade of experience teaching IELTS and I am the founder of Complete Test Success. As always, make sure to click like on the video and subscribe to my channel. Okay, so just in case you don't know what a cohesive device is, let's have a look at some examples first. So generally, cohesive devices will have a specific purpose. For example, we might have a cohesive device to add another piece of information. These would be cohesive devices like furthermore, in addition, and also. Another purpose might be to give an example. So we might say, for example, or for instance, we might use cohesive devices for sequencing, like next, after that, before, subsequently. And what a lot of candidates don't realize is that even normal conjunctions are considered to be cohesive devices. So words like because, so, and, or, but, these are also considered to be cohesive devices. So with these types of cohesive devices, your knowledge of cohesive devices, which would be shown in the range that you use, and also your ability to use them appropriately. These are parts of what an examiner will consider when they're choosing your coherence and cohesion score. So let's start with a band five. And one reason you might get a band five is if you make inadequate use of cohesive devices. Now, when I talk about these types of mistakes, I like to think of driving a car as a metaphor for this. When you're driving and you want to turn left, we have these lights that we call indicators. So these are the orange lights on the left side of the car. And when you want to turn left, you turn them on. So by turning on these lights, what you're doing is you're showing the people around you what you're about to do. You're letting everybody know that you're going to slow down and you're going to turn left. And this makes driving more safe because you're letting everybody know what's happening. And cohesive devices are very similar. So what you're doing with cohesive devices is you're announcing and you're showing the reader what's coming up next. So they're never surprised and they're never confused. So when we talk about making inadequate use of cohesive devices, this might be that you turn left but you don't turn on the indicator. So you don't let anybody know. Therefore, the drivers around you will be confused. You might cause an accident. So when it comes to cohesive devices, it might look something like this. She is a careful driver. She crashed her car last week. Now, when we look at these two sentences, we get confused. Why have we just been told she's a careful driver? And now we're being told that she crashed. This doesn't make sense. However, when we add a cohesive device like this, it becomes easier to follow. She is a careful driver. However, she crashed her car last week. And still, this doesn't make perfect sense because if she's a careful driver, she wouldn't have crashed her car last week. So even though it's now becoming clearer with the addition of the cohesive device, one more will make it much easier to follow. Normally, she is a careful driver. However, she crashed her car last week. So that's what we would call inadequate use of cohesive devices. It's where we needed one to understand what's happening, but the writer did not use one. Therefore, we're confused. And if you do this in your IELTS test, you will get a band five for coherence and cohesion. Another possible reason for getting a band five is that you make inaccurate use of cohesive devices. So this might be that you're going to turn right, but you turn on the left indicator. So you're showing everybody that you're turning left. Everybody is expecting you to turn left, but suddenly you turn right. Once more, the people around you weren't expecting it, so they are confused. And again, this might cause an accident. So let's see what that might look like in an essay. Normally, she is a careful driver and she crashed her car last week. Now here the word and indicates that you're going to add more information about how she's a careful driver but suddenly we turn in the opposite direction and now we're talking about how she's a bad driver. So this doesn't make sense because the word and doesn't connect those pieces of information correctly. So the appropriate cohesive device is but. When we use but, it shows us that we're now turning the other direction 
and now it makes sense, it's easy to follow, and the reader will not get confused. And there's one more reason why misuse of cohesive devices can result in a band 5. The third reason is that you overuse cohesive devices. And this would be that you're overusing specific cohesive devices. So perhaps you continue to say also, 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 also throughout your entire essay. So basically, if you're getting a band 5 for coherence and cohesion because of mistakes you're making with cohesive devices, it's because you haven't studied cohesive devices enough. Either you don't have enough range, or you haven't learned them accurately enough that you can use them correctly. So you need to spend more time studying these. Once you've removed all of these types of mistakes, that will give you a band 6. But if you're looking to get a band 7, you need to use a range of cohesive devices appropriately, although there may be some underuse or overuse. So what that means is you've got a good range, you're not using the same cohesive devices over and over again, and also you're using those appropriately. But here it says there may be some underuse or overuse. So that means to get a band 7, it's okay to underuse or overuse cohesive devices but this might stop you from getting a band 8. So if you want a band 8 in coherence and cohesion, you must avoid underusing or overusing cohesive devices. To show you what this would look like, we're going to look at a paragraph where every sentence begins with a cohesive device. And this is typically what a band 7 would look like. We've got a good range, they're being used accurately, but there are just too many of them, and that is not appropriate. So if you finished your essay and you notice that every sentence in a paragraph begins with a cohesive device, you might want to consider which ones can you remove. So let's look at this sentence by sentence. First of all, now that people have more disposable income, they want to use it to make their lives as easy as possible. So here we have the cohesive device first of all. And what that shows me is that there will be another idea to support this view later in the essay. So it does give me some extra information, but if we needed to remove it, we could. Although cycling has many benefits compared to cars, they are slower, less comfortable, and cyclists are less presentable upon arrival at their destinations. So here the cohesive device is although, but I cannot remove this. If I removed it, the two clauses would no longer make sense together. So we don't have that option. We definitely cannot remove this one. Furthermore, this is why the majority of people feel that a car is a better mode of transport. So here we have the cohesive device furthermore, and it does show that we're adding extra information, but also it's not necessary. If we removed it, it would still be easy to follow the writing. And here's the last sentence. For example, in Vietnam, the weather is incredibly hot, and anyone who cycles to work needs to change their clothes after getting there. And this time, we do need this cohesive device. If we remove, for example, the reader will be confused as to why are we suddenly talking about Vietnam. But if we make it clear that we are giving an example of the thing we've already discussed, then the reader knows exactly what's happening, and there is no confusion. So in this paragraph, we could potentially remove, first of all, we could potentially remove furthermore, but we definitely cannot remove although and for example. So this is something to consider if you're looking for a band 8 in coherence and cohesion. Are you using too many cohesive devices or perhaps you're not using enough? If you'd like more support from me, make sure to sign up for my free live feedback lessons and the link is in the video description. And leave a comment to let me know which piece of advice you felt was most useful in this lesson. I love reading your comments and I would like to hear what you think.